Spectacular weather for late June. Right now we're looking live from our effort of sky cam and just a few high clouds on the horizon. A little bit of haze too there. Just a couple of clouds and the sun is shining. Temperature wise 78 degrees. Dew points in the low 50s feels just like one degree warmer than the actual air temperature as thanks to relative humidity values way down into the 30s for percentages. Winds right now southwest about eight miles per hour, but those winds will uh, shift more out of a due southerly direction later tomorrow. That will warm us up and bring the humidity right back to the Susquehanna Valley. Right now, though, it is comfortable. Upper 70s, low 80s, all the way across our area. At 73 in Lewistown, that is one of our cooler numbers. 70 in Bradford right now, where this morning Bradford started off in the upper 30s. Pretty cool, almost a crisp fall-like start to the morning. Uh, but we have warmed up since then. 72 in Erie right now. Dew points are way down all the way across the Mid-Atlantic. Pennsylvania, Maryland, New Jersey, it doesn't matter. Dew points are in the 40s and 50s for this time of the year. That feels very very comfortable outside satellite and radar just showing a few high clouds and that's about it. No rain here across much of the region and going through this evening sunshine and high clouds here in the news 8 storm team forecast. We've got Carlisle in the background. Summer fair is continuing this evening continues all the way through July 4th. A lot of evening events going on in downtown Carlisle and it should be pleasant for this evening's activities. Temps falling down through the 70s and eventually settling near 60 degrees with mainly clear sky should be comfortably cool as well. Humidity cranks up through the day tomorrow. Also a little breezy for us throughout the day, mostly sunny and those winds about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So that will probably take the edge off of the humidity with mostly sunny skies. It still will be quite a bit warmer than what we have seen the last couple of days. And it's all because of this cold front that's now starting to approach. It's pushing an area of high pressure, which right now is over us and it's been giving us more of a northwesterly breeze, but that'll push the high off to the east. So that puts us into a return flow of air. We see some showers and thunderstorms ongoing with the daytime heating in the deep south. Tornado watches ongoing into to the upper Midwest right now as the, that cold front interacts with the heat and the humidity. But for us, it just pushes the high out of the way. So we just see some high clouds streaking through through the overnight hours tonight. Starting off with some sunshine tomorrow, we'll keep it around for most of the day. And then we go into our Friday. That cold front gets a little bit closer to us. So there's a possibility of an isolated shower or thunderstorm popping up during the afternoon hours on our Friday. But it looks like some higher chances arrive for some rainfall heading into Saturday, especially late Saturday into Sunday in the form of showers and thunderstorms as that cold front begins to work its way in. So that's the forecast here for the start of the holiday weekend. I know there's a lot of firework displays late Saturday into Sunday, so we're keeping a close eye on that one. Warm and humid with an isolated storm possible on Sunday. Much of the same, though, into the start of the week Monday and chances some thunderstorms as well on July 4th. Also Wednesday as well, those temperatures in the middle 80s. Uh, we've got a weather watcher umbrella to give away today. And Julie Reed from New Holland, Lancaster County is the big winner today. Congrats to you, Julie. And now let's head to the Lancaster Toyota Traffic Center. We get a traffic update this evening. Here's Corinne Lillis. Hi, Corinne. 